my top 10 favourite James L. Jones films. James L. Jones was born on the 17th of January 1931 in Arca Butler, Mississippi, USA. He made his big screen debut in the film Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb in 1964. Dr. Strangelove, 1964. An insane general triggers a path to nuclear holocaust that a war room full of politicians and generals frantically try to stop. The Great White Hope, 1970. A black champion boxer and his white female companion struggle to survive while the white boxing establishment looks for ways to knock him down. Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope 1977 Luke Skywalker joins forces with a Jedi Knight, a cocky pilot, and a Wookiee, and two droids to save the galaxy from the Empire's well-destroying battle station. Conan the Barbarian 1982 A young boy Conan becomes a slave after his parents are killed and tribe destroyed by a savage warlord and sorcerer of Thulsa Doom. When he grows up, he becomes a fearless, invincible fighter. Set free, he plots revenge against Thulsa Doom. Soul Man, 1986. To achieve his dream of attending Harvard, a pampered teen poses as a young black man to receive a full scholarship. Coming to America, 1988. An extremely pampered African prince travels to Queens, New York and goes undercover to find a wife that he can respect for her intelligence and will. Field of Dreams, 1989. When an Iowa farmer hears a mysterious voice one night in his cornfield saying, if you build it, he will come. He feels the need to act. Despite taunts of lunacy, he builds a baseball diamond on his land. The Hunt for Red October 1990 In November 1984, the Soviet Union's best submarine captain in their newest sub violates orders and heads for the US. Is he trying to defect or is he trying to start a war? Sneakers 1992 A security pro finds his past coming back to haunt him when he and his unique team are tasked with retrieving a particularly important item. The Lion King 1994 A lion called Crown Prince is tricked by a treacherous uncle into thinking he caused his father's death and flees into exile in despair, only to learn in adulthood his identity and his responsibilities. Don't act so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! 